So we're here today in a little town, little fishing village called Shivik. Um, yeah, and the specific place is Esperud Arboretum, which is a kind of woodland private garden. Um, but it's been here for well over a hundred years. It was uh, made by a guy called Albert Wallace, who died in 1925 and he had planted more than 3,000 trees, all of different varieties, and after he died it was kind of left to get to wreck and ruin a little bit until it was bought by a new owner in 1985, a chap called Bo, which I uh, can't remember his second name, but um, he took it over in 1985 and he sort of put it, put it the way it should be with all the paths and he opened it up to the public. and. Uh, yeah, he's done a really good job of making it beautiful again. Uh, exactly. Uh, so we're going to go and look around. We're going to try and do um, some portraits in the in the forest because there's some nice light around. Uh, so we're going to do portraits, yeah, and video, and also. Um, try and do a little bit of macro because my, my really good friend Simon Booth, who's an excellent landscape photographer, um, he also does a lot of macro and it's kind of inspired me to do to do some macro photography or at least try and learn. So I've got my Nikon Z7 and my uh, 7200 f4 lens with me to try and get in close. The focusing distance is, is quite good. So I'm going to try and find something that catches my eye and I think you know, the problem here is that there are so many beautiful flowers and there's so many things that catch your eye that it's really difficult to, well, I think it's going to be quite difficult to kind of isolate something to make it uh, interesting. But I'm going to do the very best I can um, and with the help of my five-year-old Chloe who's here helping for the day. Um, so this, uh, th this uh, woodland is is well known for uh, magnolia trees, uh, magnolia trees, sorry, uh, cypress trees. There's a redwood. Um, there's you know there's just like tons and tons of um, of different varieties of trees. So I'm going to really have a, a good go at it today. It's a beautiful day, um, and I'm also going to check where where she ran off to. But so to leave you with that, I'll be coming back to talk to you periodically. But uh, Let's go and enjoy the morning and see where it takes us. Talk to you again soon. So, do you remember what we're going to do? Yeah. Yeah. You see all those lovely flowers that are yeah. about everywhere? Yeah. So we're going to take these pictures today and we're going to try and not stand on the flowers. Because when we're in nature, yeah. we try not to stand on flowers. I see gold. You yeah. see gold? Yes, yeah. Ah. Anyway, so we're going to try and protect the forest. Mm -hmm. So we're going to stick to the paths mm -hmm. and be very careful. Yes. You ready? <laughs> okay. So shall we go? Mm -hmm. Let's go have a look. I I see So everything I do today is going to be handheld. Um, I don't want to disturb the landscape or damage it in any way. You've got such beautiful flowers and, and vegetation and lovely greenery. Um, I'm going to take extra special care. With the tripod it's always quite tricky and you know I, as I've got older I, I'm not the most agile anymore so uh, I don't want to fall into them and damage them. So I, the safest way for me to do it is handheld. The ISO is going no higher than four or five hundred so it, it just isn't a problem um, uh, you know I'm looking around it, it's exciting uh, because it, I 
think sometimes you need a new genre of photography to keep you interested or to, to spark something um, to spark something that wasn't there before and I think it's going to work today um, you know during the day is quite often a, a time when it's overlooked in uh, in landscape photography as being you know out with the golden hour so therefore you know you, you I, I, I actually think it, it isn't true. There's something to photograph most of the time. And with the sky being cloudy today, um, there's no direct light on the subject, which uh, there's ambient light, which is giving it a little bit of a lift, but there's nothing to sort of glare it out or anyway, in any way. Um, let's keep going. Okay, Chloe. Okay, guys, there is some spectacular light shining right where Chloe's standing, and I'm going to try and take a really awesome picture, which I can show you guys at the end. But if she just plays a little bit of ball and does something nice for her dad, okay? Can you just. Oh, pretty. Itchy, are we? Okay, Chloe. Nice face. Looking forward to your chocolate balls? Chloe, chocolate balls? Chocolate balls. Who made them? Don't look there, look over here, Dad. Chloe? No. 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 That's better. <laughs> Yay! Filling your tummy. Hello? Look at Papa. I have something in my tummy. Meatballs. You have meatballs? Mm -hmm. Do you like food, Chloe? Can you give me a nice face, Chloe? Can you give me a naughty face? Can you give me pretty Chloe face? Oh, that silly face. Pretty. 
So as you can see, uh, my uh, adventure today with my daughter, it was actually done in two stages. I came this morning um, and I did a whole lovely film with her, uh, with just me and her. And I don't know, the sound didn't record onto the, the video. So some of the, the final video that I'm going to put together for you um, is going to uh, be silent footage with just a little bit of music. And the talking has of course come back this afternoon and my wife came along as well. But her coming along has created a little bit of a distraction for Chloe, so she, she wasn't quite as um, as cooperative as she, she was this morning. Um, but anyway, that's just life for the five-year-old. So today was just a little bit of fun, really. Um, I wanted to, to show you this beautiful this garden. It's, it's fantastic. And, uh, and also, a little bit of environmental portraits that I like to do with my daughter. You may, may or may not have seen some on Instagram in the past. Um, but you know that's something I do because I love to take photos I like to bear in the landscape as us photographers like to do um, but when I'm with her it's quite difficult to do landscape so I did a couple of macro shots uh, earlier which I'll put up for you at the end and also uh, and also if one or two of these nice pictures I took today of Chloe come out then I'll show you what what, so, uh, it's what they look like but I mean um, primarily when I'm looking for environmental portraits, I'm looking for light. Um, so the surroundings, of course, was that beautiful cypress tree, um, but uh, the light uh, is the key to making the final decision. And of course, as the pathways were converging, it's uh, sort of early evening and the, the light was just shining through the trees, which created this beautiful uh, glow across the, her hair and everything. So so that's another thing that I look for. Um, and. Um, you know, just to finish off, I actually met the, the owner, uh, Boo, his name is, and I, I met him uh, just a few minutes ago. And he reminded me of a, a great story about Sir David Attenborough, um, who he met in the garden a number of years ago. And uh, Sir David was here specifically to look at one or two of the trees that, uh, that were here. And he had this beautiful young blonde lady with him. And uh, Boo, in his innocence, uh, asked him if that was his daughter. And he said, uh, he said, you know, Boo, uh, it's not my daughter. And I'll tell you something else. It's not my niece either. <laughs> so, so that is, a, it's a great story. So I'll leave, you, I'll leave you guys to work out who the young lady was. Um, anyway, so David went up in my estimation uh, then, which was already uh, held in very high regard. Um, but uh, obviously, uh, there's a story to tell. Uh, so I'll leave you with that story. So we're in Espero d'Arboreto and uh, that was Chloe who, who thoroughly enjoyed her day with her dad and, um, and I hope you enjoyed the footage. So what's really important to me today is uh, firstly subscribe, secondly like, uh, like and comment, that, that's really important to keep the engagement going. Um, and as I say, that was a fun morning, a fun afternoon with my daughter, uh, a little bit of a video. And, uh, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's a little bit of family time, quite personal in a way, but it's also entertaining for others, I, I hope. Um, Shevik, fantastic little, little fishing village. We'll be doing much more vlogs from here in the landscape format, but uh, today was a, a little bit different. Um, until the next vlog, we'll see you then.